it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Flensburger Brewery and it's a bottle of their Pilsner coming in at 4.8% ABV in a 330 milliliter swing top bottle. There's the, the look of the bottle there. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Boom! Always oh, kind of big smacking kind of loud openings with these beers. Uh, the beer is available from beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beers from all over the world. Check out beersofeurope.co.uk if you're in the UK in the description box of this video. There we go. Well, that looks like something you could uh, get your mouth around. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, two finger white head. Good levels of carbonation. Straw coloured beer. You can see specks of sediment floating around in the glass. Literally specks. The smaller specks. Looks good. Straw coloured, clear, let's get the aroma. Oh yeah, just... 2019 has been the year for me falling head over heels in love. Yep, I'm going to use the word love. With German Pilsners. I've had such an experience this year with different German Pilsners. It's been a roller coaster ride of kind of like the more I drink them, the more I love them. Just incredible. This one, you're picking up some of these complex malts. And a, a real peppery, spicy bitterness. Lemony as well. Lemony kind of bitterness. Lemony aromas I should say. Light, fluffy, airy. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely beer. The carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. First and foremost, it's really refreshing. Yeah, lovely and refreshing. Really crisp, a crisp cleanness to it. And then you've got them lovely kind of, it's quite, it's quite bitter for a Pilsner, but I believe Pilsners generally are quite bitter style beers, so, yeah, this is this is right there with with what I was expecting from this beer, peppery, spicy bitterness, kind of a lemon bite, like you were biting into some lemon peel. A really tasty brew. What they say was four point eight percent ABV. Yeah, it's nice. Um, ingredients: water, barley malt, hop extract. And of course some yeast. So the German purity law only allows for four ingredients in the beer, which are 99.9% .9 in Germany, water, malts, yeast. What did I say? Water, malt, yeast and hops. Four ingredients. Um, and the hops, of course. Um, there are some breweries in Germany which kind of like bend the rules a little bit. Um, some of the upcoming kind of craft beer breweries they don't adhere to the law um but if you and far between a lot of the german brewers will just go bang 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 we want to want to brew with the german purity, purity law because they they're very they're, they're proud of it they're proud of it and it's something which i wish i wish was rolled out throughout other countries um in the world in fact if if and i hate to talk about politics uh, if Angela Merkel can force the Germany, German purity law, the Reichsbot, on Boris Johnson, then I'd be really happy. 
enough of politics, enough of Brexit. You didn't come here for that. I bet you're sick of the word, that, that word, I'm sick of it. Um, the clean, drinkable, refreshing Pilsner. Would I want another one? I'd want four. Love this style of beer. All of a sudden, falling in love with this style of beer. Flensburger Pilsner. Where are they based? Does it say on the front here? Uh, Flensburg. That's where they're from. Um, Monketoft 12. Okay, uh, made in Germany. Let's rate it. I like that beer. I do. I'd have another one and another one and another one. And that's the best compliment you can give to a brewer. I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.